Hey kids, this is Ivan. Tim Harper said, make something, damn it. And I said, man, what am I going to make? I had writer's block. What am I going to do? And then I thought to myself, well, this is ridiculous, Ivan. What I'm going to make is the Quantum Ogre. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's come up with this guy before, but I made it this time, so it's mine. But uh, anyhow, so just like in real games, the Quantum Ogre is a misnomer. It's really not an ogre. We're not sure what the heck it is. It's some kind of humanoid creature, and it's very pissed off. It lives in a state of uncertainty, which would piss you off. And who knows? People have hypothesized that perhaps there's some kind of spacefaring race that had a terrible accident. And now, maybe, maybe it's due to their star drive or something. Who knows? But they're in this horrible state of uncertainty. And they only uh, manifest every once in a while. So, you know, let's use a D6. You can use this for... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do old school D&D &D and retro clones as far as stats go. But you can do anything you want to. to and just, you know, range it from uh, weak to powerful. So, I'm going to roll a D6 an awful lot. You can use whatever the heck to die you want to. But I'm going to say, let's do D6. So, let's say in any given area... All of a sudden, you assign various places this quantum ogre could be because the wave function has not yet been collapsed. <laughs> okay, so and let's we'll go with dungeon, you know, for lack of uh, for lack of a better idea. But outside, whatever. But you know, it lends itself to like different rooms or different areas. And certainly, you could have six different rooms and assign a one in six chance to the ogre appearing in one of those. However, you can do like a, a regular quantum mechanics probability maybe it'll have a two and six chance of being in room a and a three and six chance of being in room b and only a one and six chance of being in room c your call is a dm so your players enter that one of these rooms the first thing they'll notice is they're in quantum ogre territory because they see an interference pattern okay you don't have to do this but i kind of like this little shtick and if you don't know what that is look up double slit experiment and interference pattern and so the wave function has not yet been collapsed so they're going to see something shimmering on the wall or somewhere maybe on a tree if they're outside whatever looks like a barcode almost uh oh we're in quantum ogre territory if they happen to know what this is so then as a game master you decide how often you want to roll a die is it once a round once a minute whatever if they, they stay in there and see whether the ogre pops up and if it lands on the, the number corresponding to that area boom the wave function has collapsed and here's your ogre and they tend to be very pissed off they're vaguely humanoid. Not really sure what they are. Maybe they look like that. Oh, that's so, that. Lord, that's scary. <laughs> okay. So, how how powerful is this over? Well, you got to roll. Let's find out. So, you roll a d6, and I just kind of threw this little chart up here from, uh, you know, weak to powerful. And let's just say if you roll a one on a d6, they, you know, whatever you roll on a d6, that's how many hit dice they have. How many hit points? That's what their attack bonus is as well. What kind of armor class they have? I put little ascending and descending armor classes here, but let's say, you know, it ranges from armor class 12 if we're going ascending, or, you know, if you roll a 1 to 17 if you roll a 6. And what kind of damage they do? Well, it goes from D4, D6, D8, D10, 2D6, or 2D8. Some of these ogres can be pretty badass. If you want to be really slick, roll each one of them separately. So maybe the guy has a lousy armor class but does incredible damage. Who, you know, up to you. Now, how long does this ogre stick around? Well, they've kind of got a little bit of a half-life going on. They're a little radioactive. <laughs> Not really, but, you know. So, you decide, how often am I going to roll a d6 to see whether this guy vanishes? And if you roll a 1, you know, the wave function uh, decollapses, I guess. He goes back into an uncertain state. He doesn't vanish for real. He could come back the next round. You never know. Uh, if you want to have a little bit more fun with it, you know, every few rounds or whatever, um, you know, maybe as you roll to see whether he disappears or not, re-roll his stats. Maybe he gets more powerful. Maybe he gets less powerful, you know. You have a little bit of fun with that sort of thing but he's in a constant state of flux and so that's your quantum ogre ridiculous zany and uh a misnomer just like the quantum ogre in our game so yeah i made something damn it now you make something